Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this device. So when you put it up for the first time you should be presented with well, this screen right over here. I get to choose your language from the list right over here. Then you get to select your region, so choose your correct one. And for that, I, for some reason you need to restart your device. Uh, it makes no sense. So anyway, uh, now we get to waste our like, minute of our life for this to reboot for zero apparent reason. And once that has been finished, if you're doing this the first time around, uh, well, you might want to prepare like 10 minutes of your life for this, because this is going to be probably one of the longest setup screens you can actually go through. It will start checking for something, and it's going to check for it forever. Now, I'm not doing this the first time around, so at least you will be spared for that uh, agony. So from here, uh, as you just seen, I did just select uh, end user license agreement or whatever the optional option is. You don't need to agree to this if you don't want to. Which brings us to the next page, which is uh, permissions for Samsung apps and services. So obviously you can go over these permissions and completely turn them off if you don't want uh, apps to have uh, access to certain things. Now, once you encounter the app that wants permission for whatever you turned it off, uh, it will give you a pop-up that it needs it and some apps are just uh, absolute trash so as an example if you went and as an example turned off something like location though i can't actually see it here oh no there it is so if you turn off location and you encounter an app that requires it um some apps will be an absolute uh can't about it and just tell you that no we won't run as long as you don't give us the location so uh, good luck with those apps uh there is sometimes zero reason for that app to have location but it will not actually work without it just because give us your give us your data so anyway from here we can go to the next page which is the uh, wi-fi uh, page so if you want you can connect to wi-fi if you don't uh you don't have a choice now i do because this is a se second time around setup but if you're setting this device up for the first time uh, Samsung doesn't give you really a choice, so you're stuck in uh, logging in. You're not near any Wi-Fi? Too effing bad. I, I guess you won't finish up your setup right now. Uh, I can skip it like I mentioned just because I already did go through the setup. Once the device has been initially set up, you can later on just kind of like uh, disregard half of these things. But the initial setup is absolutely annoying. Now next page we have copy apps and data. So from here I'm going to select don't copy. Obviously if you wanted to create a copy oh basically import your data from an old device to this one, you are free to do so. Um, just skipping it just to save them, save some time. Now, next page, we have uh, date and time. Now, because I didn't connect to any Wi-Fi, uh, this page shows up. Um, obviously, it has no internet connection, so it doesn't know what time it is. And normal circumstances, if you did the initial setup, this page completely gets skipped just because you were forced to log into Wi-Fi. And next page we have Google services, so we have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. So going over all three of them, location is just GPS tracking, so apps like Google Maps can give you an accurate route to your destination and certain apps utilize it in some logical way like showing you your position on the map and give you, uh, for instance, like food deliveries, it knows where you are, so that's sometimes useful. Then we have allow scanning which allows the device to look for signals like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and then going below that we have sending user and diagnostic data. Uh, this simply allows Google to spy on you. From there we can go to the next page which is protecting your device. Now you can do that in several different ways. We have face recognition, fingerprint, pin pattern and password. If you're planning to use any of the first two ones uh, you are also forced to use uh, pin pattern or password. Uh, you can should be a better way to showcase this because uh, pin pattern password you cannot set up all three you can only choose one of those three and you will always be required to have one of those three set up in order to use any of the two first options now the reason for this is if something happens to your face or your finger uh, fingerprint you can still unlock uh, the device in a different way meaning pin pattern or password as physical way uh, so that's why uh, obviously without these options if for instance you have only fingerprint set and you cut your finger uh, you virtually lose access to your device so that's not a very good way to go about it obviously that's why we're forced into this anyway from this from here i'm gonna select pattern just as a way to unlock our device so 
I'm gonna draw my pattern. Next, confirm that pattern. And there we go, it's now set. And throughout the setup process, uh, I just lost like 2%, so that's also amazing. For a device that has 8,000 mAh battery. Actually, no, it's I think 10. Uh, anyway, Samsung account, uh, this is what I'd consider spam. Uh, if you try to skip it, as you can see, it gives you this amazing uh, pop-up right here. Uh, skip, skip out on all this, like we're skipping out on some uh, grand uh, applications, like they're not substituted by anything or are the first ones to come out. So just quickly going over these options right here, we're skipping out on Samsung Cloud. Uh, mind you, this is running Android and it has access to Google. So welcome Google Cloud which most likely all of us have and actually use over the Samsung account or Samsung Cloud. Then we have Bixby, again, hey Google. Um, find my mobile, find my device. Samsung Pass, um, this is a, uh, Samsung Pass is just a way to store passwords and Google has it as well. Let's see we log in though, I don't know if it actually has some kind of specific name for it. And this might be a little bit more secure compared to just the typical uh, Google one. We have Galaxy Store, obviously entirety of Play Store. And last we have Secure Folder. And this might be the only thing that doesn't really have a substitute. It's basically a way to password protect a folder on your device and without that you can't really access it. That's about it. So yeah, skip on all this because I don't really care for any of this. Especially that I use Google. And there we go. Once you do so, we are now created with our setup or no, our home screen, not setup screen. So there we go. That is how we could go through the setup. And obviously for you, it took probably a little bit longer, but virtually the same process. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.